All right, guys, we are in the middle of the transmission build for Clifford. This is what we've uh, replaced so far. That's all the old stuff, all the old clutches, old front drum, bunch of springs, sills, and rings. But uh, yeah, it's been a fun project, guys. Hopefully it works right. We'll have to see if you did it right. You think it's gonna work? One way to know is if it'll do burnout. <laughs> <laughs> he just did his first burnout. What's up? <laughs> A lot of stuff we still got some more to go we got to do the shift kit uh, for the valve body but we got pretty much the transmission back together we got a new drum all new clutches new band we already put uh, some of the transgo shift kit in here uh, the accumulator seals and new rings and seals for the uh, pistons in here and we are to the point where we're gonna adjust the bands um, we already did the rear band. The boy, the boy about to do the front band. So we're going to torque this band with the torque wrench to 72 foot pounds and then back it off two turns. So let's we'll see what you got there, guy. See if you're any good. Basically, he's tightening this band up. There it is. Boom. She click. She yeah. clicky. So we got it torqued down to 72 foot pounds, and now we're going to uh, back off the little tensioner bolt right here. We're going to back that off two turns, and that's top secret specs directly from John Cope, CRT Corporate. There you go. And then you back it off twice. Yeah. You can just use the regular ratchet. There you go. Put that on there. And back it off two turns. So go one turn. Oh no. It's fine. Back it off. We gotta learn you something. Alright, so that's gonna be one mm -hmm. turn. Now go back around. Line it up to the top right there. There you go. Run your nut down. And then that's it. We're going to tighten that bolt. We're going to tighten up this nut, the jam nut. And then we're uh, good to go. So that is the band adjustments on the 46RE. And I believe the 727 will be the same thing. But uh, yeah, it's been a fun project, guys. Hopefully it works, right? We'll have to see if you did it right. You think it's gonna work? One way to know is if it'll do burnout. We got my boy over here pretending like he knows what he's doing on this kegger manifold. What's that thing go on? Daggone five nine. Daggone five nine? Yeah. What what are we doing to it? Replacing the gasket and a little bit of port and action. Replacing the little valley pan gasket and we're gonna do some do it yourself uh little porting job on it and cut the runners back a little bit, huh? That means. <laughs> so these things, so these manifolds, as most know, the bottom pan on the, underneath these old Magnum motors, the gasket always leaks and fails. And it causes you to suck in engine oil. So you will lose oil and burn oil as well. So we're going to be pulling this pan off. We're going to be putting in a new gasket, cleaning up this manifold. 
And then we're, like I said, we're going to do a little bit of uh, intake runner trimming. We're going to shorten them up a little bit. And then we're going to repaint this thing so it actually looks good again. Boy, it's working. What are you doing? Uh, valve job. A valve job? You're lapping valves, right? Yeah. Lapping valves? Up. Oh, you're screwing up. Screwing up. <laughs> what are you screwing up? You got to put it in the head first. Oh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, there you go. Make sure you get it in the right one. Yeah, you already got the first two done. Now hook up your drill. Come on, grasshopper. Greenhorn over here doing his first valve lapping job. We're learning. We're learning him something sooner or later. Many first going around here. Now just get it over there. Put the drill in forward. That's reverse. Put it in forward. It was already in. There you go. Hold the chuck. There you go. Now you can start the lapping process. It's tight enough. Make sure you do. There you go. Hold it down a little longer. There you go. Let it breathe every now and then. We're lapping valves, guys. Or I should say the greenhorn. Trying to learn him something. He's got a long way to go. Oh, yeah. The 5.9 Magnum head. Getting it lapped in. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy. Look at that smile right there, boy. Clifford is moving. All right. Clifford is alive. And we got reverse. We got a 5.9 Magnum. Put it in drive. See if it goes forward a little bit. Oh yeah. Alright, stop. Hold it. Alright. We're about to teach him how to do his first little burnout. Put your foot on the brake. Pump it up. Pump it up and hold it to the floor. Now mash the gas pedal and hold the brake. <laughs> he just did his first burnout. What's up? <laughs> hey, is all that hard work paid off a little bit finally? Huh? <laughs> All right, let's go up there and park her. <coughs> oh, man. I don't know who's happier, me or him. We got a mess out here. Clifford runs and drives. <laughs> All right. We got to give a big thanks to John Cope oh, for yeah. lots of help and uh, parts for this transmission, that's for sure. And I personally have to <laughs> thank this guy. Ah, uh, you did most of the work. I don't know. You did most of the work. You did most of the work, that's for sure. Oh my god. But yeah, you gotta go on there and give John Cope a big thanks because uh oh, yeah. he 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 bailed us out a few times when we got into a pickle trying to figure something out on that transmission. But hey, first transmission build for myself and you, and she works, baby. Works freaking like she a works. Time. Oh we did take it down the street, however, I did not get a video, but how many times? I, I did like, what, two or three donuts, right? Uh, probably, I four, probably four. Four, four yeah, donuts, and maybe, we swung it and maybe. drifted it a few times, but we had to be quick because we got no tag, no insurance on it yet. So, uh, yeah, truck seems to be going pretty good. I just did my first burnout. And he did his first burnout. <laughs> I can't believe that. 
You ready to hit the track yeah. once with it, maybe soon? I'm ready to send her. Send her? I think Clifford's ready to send it too. There you go. <coughs> mm -hmm. All right. We got to clean up our mess. You going to help us out? <laughs> nope.